Yeah, and uh, it not only is uh, estrogen damaging them in in at least six or eight different ways, uh, it shifts from the ability to oxidize glucose. It uh, <clears throat> impairs the <clears throat> very enzyme that uses oxygen uh, several different places in the mitochondria. <clears throat> but besides poisoning the energy, um, it also uh, blocks the ability to turn cholesterol into uh, steroid hormones. The, the brain is one of our biggest steroid-forming glands in the body. Uh, and its concentration of steroids, uh, progesterone, DHEA, uh, and uh, pregnenolone, especially DHEA and progesterone, is about ten times higher than in the bloodstream. Uh huh. It, it's probably it's probably the largest consumer of oxygen as well, right? Um. Yeah. And uh, the production of these neurosteroids is um, one of the major uses of oxygen, and so. Uh, Testosterone is uh, produced in the brain as well as absorbed from uh, what, what's circulating in the blood. And uh, when the brain is injured, besides not making uh, these hormones uh, as eff- effectively as, as it should because of the damage to the mitochondria, right. uh, the aromatase enzyme begins turning testosterone into estrogen. Uh-huh. And uh, last month we talked about the uh, how the uh, electromagnetic field right. exposure lowers testosterone. Yep. Uh, any injury does that. Ionizing radiation, uh, concussion, um, starvation, whatever. And and these poofers you're saying is also another... Uh, yeah. And um, so... so th- as the testosterone goes down, the estrogen is going up, and uh, that causes other hormones. The, the brain is a, a source of signals to the other glands in the body, uh, the gonadotropic hormones, FSH and LH, okay. uh, regulate the, the ovaries and testicles. 